I don't even know where to begin. I've, we've talked before. I think we talked on Floss Weekly, Ward, many years ago. Yeah. But uh, you're a legend in computing for so many uh, reasons. Uh, inventor of the wiki, which I personally, which, you know, makes me happy because uh, I love wikis. Uh, but also uh, early part of the small talk community, uh, instrumental right. in creating programming patterns, which if you're a programmer, the word patterns will, you know, ring a bell for you. You worked at Microsoft uh, in their pattern and practices group for a while. Uh, it was at Eclipse. Of course, if you're a programmer, mm -hmm. you know the Eclipse editor and IDE. Um, and now he's at New Relic. And if you want to know anything about the internet and we were just talking before the show we we run on new relic all of our web stats come from uh, new relic so he is he's got his fingers in anything many of the things you use every day ward welcome it's great to have you on triangulation well it's great to be here i appreciate it you're up in portland uh, at the new relic headquarters that's right very nice so uh gosh i almost i want to start with wiki but really i know that was not that's kind of in the middle of your uh, career but i just there's something about wikis. It seems to me that wikis really lived up to the original promise of Tim Berners-Lee's World Wide Web. When he created the web, he envisioned it as a system of documents that his colleagues could use, edit, edit with hyperlinks, could jump around, could read footnotes, come back. A, a very fluid kind of documenting system. And that's really what wiki became. Is that Was that the inspiration for a wiki? You know, I learned that uh, after I built it. No, I, I actually started experimenting with HyperCard. I love I was HyperCard. In a research lab, and uh, this thing ended up on my desk, and I could tell it wasn't a relational database, and I was trying to figure out what kind of database is it. And, and I'd had an interest in, uh, you know, kind of the absorption of technology among technologists, and, and so I built a little database out of cards, that kind of tracked how ideas move through my company. Uh, that was Tektronix at the time. And, and of course, Tektronix uh, built the instruments that built the computers that uh, we love today. So, uh, you know, I actually haven't changed much from Tektronix, which uh, measured hardware, to, uh, you know, New Relic that measures software. You know? but, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I found at the time that uh, engineers were awfully conservative. They didn't want to use something if they haven't seen it work before. And so I just asked people, you know, what ideas did you bring to your last project and where did you get them? Where did you see them work before? And, and it made an interesting hypertext. And so when we started looking for patterns, you know, I, was, I said, well, gee, I wish I had a network version of HyperCard, uh, and I didn't. But then uh, hypertext came along you know, the, right. uh, the web, and we said, well, let's see if I can make something that feels like HyperCard that runs on the web. And, and I was interested not in HyperCard in the graphical sense, but, but I'd, I'd ginned up a version of HyperCard where you could write about cards that didn't yet exist, you know, so that you could build this. I mean, when I ask people, what's, where did you learn, where did the company learn everything that it ever learned was really the question I was trying to answer. You know, it had to be useful and complete. You know, there had to be links that didn't go anywhere. And, and uh, that was, you know, something that the hypertext researchers of the time thought was a failure. Every uh, link had to lead somewhere. Oh, absolutely. You didn't yeah. want to get stuck. Well, I just changed it. So, <laughs> you know, if you click on a link and it wasn't there, it'd do a little beep. But if you just pressed and held the button longer, it just created it. So you felt like you were pushing a page into the, uh, into the, uh, into the stack. 